second test. All right, this is the second test. You feel yourself growing older, more so than before the tests began. All right. Again, dizziness overcomes you. Your memory of the previous test fades, and in its place, your mind is filled with the knowledge of everything that has since come to pass. This includes, unfortunately, the dreadful misfortunes which have plagued Daventry since the coming of the terrible three-headed dragon. To make oh, things no. worse, your 17-year-old daughter has been demanded as its latest sacrifice. Uh -oh. In return, it will not harm the rest of the population until the next demand. You would go forth to destroy the dragon yourself, but you no longer have the heart for such quests. Oh, Never no. have you felt so forlorn, so frail. You fear that given the choice, you would do anything to rectify the situation. Alright, what's gonna happen? What could he do? Who is this guy? A charming view. No wonder you come here so often. You. I will see you hanged for this intrusion. Guards! Guards! Calling them will do you no good. For even if they come, they will find their king speaking to only the air he breathes. A pox on thee! Who are you? Pox on thee! Name. My true name has been heard by none for an eye on the millennium. Mm. It is enough that you know me as the father. Then say what you have come to say and be gone. <laughs> you never were one for small talk. You cursed my family. As a result, that dragon is now loose upon the land, and one of my children was kidnapped. Now that is not quite the truth. Do you deny your involvement? Not at all. It is just that you have omitted so much. Speak, and be gone. Very well. I want your crown. Oh, really? I cannot believe what you have just heard. This vile creature has caused untold misery throughout your land for nearly 18 years and has now infiltrated your castle just to ask that you hand over your authority to him? Never! All the outrageous! Is that what this is all about? You want to rule Daventry? <laughs> what would I want with a puny little kingdom when in a few short years I will have more power than the Jindamore himself? No, I want only the thing you wear atop your head. Your crown. crown. It is an essential part of my plan. Without it, my efforts to prepare for the ascension will have been in vain. I have waited far too long to be deterred from it now. If you need it that badly, you could have just taken it. You had plenty of opportunities. Hmm. Are you completely ignorant of the legends of your predecessors? Hmm. None can possess the crown of the first king unless it's given. Hmm, interesting. Think for one moment that I would... Before you speak further, consider this. In exchange for what I ask, I shall leave my curse and all that it entails from you and your blighted land. You shall have both it and your family restored in full. Mm -hmm. Minus your title, naturally. Your mind reels at these words. For almost two decades, a countless number of innocent people have suffered under the afflictions Daventry has had to endure. So many more people would continue to suffer indefinitely, notwithstanding the pain you feel over your own family's misfortune. With a simple statement, you could put an end to it all. The shrouded figure standing before you is the man responsible for all of Daventry's present troubles. What is he gonna say? Unconditional acceptance, provisional acceptance, severing the lifeline, pride cometh before all else, final act of defiance. I defy you, demon. You shall never have the crown, and I shall make sure it will never be of any use to you. I would rather die than to risk it falling into your hands. Yes. Go to hell, bitch. Such a foolish sacrifice. I suppose he thought of it as noble. <sighs> it is a good thing you cannot actually die during these tests. Quite convenient, really. Indeed. 